everyone and welcome to another Power Apps Roadmap. Today we are going to be looking at extending the icon list inside Power Apps to include Font Awesome fonts. Yeah, let's get started. You can see here my uh, template, uh, my in progress app. I have connected to the Twitter connector and I'm pulling in a bunch of tweets that will show up on my home timeline. Um, I have the user's display image, their, their username, their full name, the tweet and I've added this little box here that's going to show whether or not I have favorited the, the tweet. Uh, that's all I have so far but it's in this, in this scenario it's bugging me that inside my icon list here but it's bugging me that inside my icon list here despite there being a love heart in the little thumbnail there's no love heart icon available to me. I'm going to change that by introducing Font Awesome icons. If you're unaware of what Font Awesome is, it's an icon library that's very widely used across the internet. Over 100 million websites use them. So from a UI UX perspective, it's really great because users will be familiar with the style and the look uh, of the icons from other websites. Um, and it means that if you can pull all your icons from one source, it's going to give a more cohesive look rather than if you are uh, pulling them randomly from the internet or maybe you're designing a few yourself and pulling icons in from the, the built-in ones. This is going to bring uh, a much more cohesive look to your Power App. So we are going to start by downloading the desktop version of Font Awesome 3 and that includes three uh, different font files. There is a solid font pack, a regular font pack and a brand font pack. Today we are going to be working with the regular font pack, it's the smallest of the three. There are far fewer uh, icons in here than the other two. Solid is filled in icons and there are a lot more in this list. Um, and the brands, as you might expect, is full of logos, icons related to companies. So download the zip file. Um, the link to the download page will be in the description. And what we want to do is take the and what we're going to do is open up the OTFs folder inside that zip file and I will add the link to this website in the description as well. It's called Transfonter and it's going to convert our font file for us to something that Power Apps can work with. So uh, we want to ex uh, unzip the whichever font you want to use. Like I said, in our example, we're going to use the free regular one regular weight um, and drag and drop it into here and the only thing that we really need to change from these options is we want to base 64 encode uh, the font and click and convert and that's it that's all the hard work done for us and uh, so we will download that zip file and from inside there uh, you'll be presented with uh, four files one demo HTML file uh, two versions of your font in WOFF format and a stylesheet.css file and that's the only file that we need. Now let's move back across to our app and let's get working on um, including our new icons into our app. I have spoken about it in other videos but there's a great way uh, to add SVG to Power Apps and that's using the image uh, item inside our uh, gallery here. So we are going to enter our, temp our item template inside the gallery and we want to add a new image and you can tell that it's added it inside the, the gallery because it's repeated down here for the previous ones. And yeah, I think the defaults here are going to be fine. So we're going to set the image width and height to 100 and 100. And I'll talk through the code, but um, there will be a link to the, the code that you need for the image control in the description for this video. 
um, it's a lot so let's take a look at what's going on here I have covered in a previous video that we can import SVG into Power Apps using this uh, this code here and that's what we're doing but inside the style tags inside our SVG icon we are uh, naming uh, uh, our font and we're making the source of the font this base64 encoded string which contains all of our icon data so we'll skip to the end of the, the style tag so I've declared a new class called custom I've set the font to 80 pixels the font uh, the font size to 80 pixels the font um, face to font awesome 5 free and set the fill to black and then the one thing that I have inside the SVG is a text element that starts at 10 pixels and 80 pixels down and has a class of custom and inside there we use the code from the font awesome cheat sheet the text uh, that relates to the icon that we want to use and as I showed you before in our instance it's heart and if I pull this up you can see there is our heart and uh, we can resize it so I'm changing the um, the fill of our icon and I'm going to change it to the RGB value 202020 which is going to give me a kind of dark red and yeah there it is so it now we now have a love heart against each one but we obviously only want to show that um, when favorited is true so let's grab our favorited we are going to augment the control the visible control we are going to augment the visible control for this uh, image and all we need to do is type in there this item.favorited and if that is true then it will show this icon so you can see our first result here is true so there's an icon the next one down is false and there's no icon so I can now update this one move our icon into place and we can now see at a glance when scrolling down through our app um, which of these I've uh, which of these I've favorited um, as uh, another example we can show so if I was to scroll down a little bit and see uh, an example for the great power apps for kids account there um, and I'm on Twitter uh, on my other screen I'm going to like that uh, tweet and then a refresh of the data and you can see that it's added the, the icon beside it so let me just move over to this screen here and I can show you some of the other icons that are available in this pack um, and you can see a little preview of so another video that is coming soon um, let's just start up at the top here so let's take a quick look from address book um, address card angry lots of arrows which do already exist within the icon set um, but bookmarks lots of calendar information lots of lots of calendar icons um, a lot more smiley faces uh, than are built into the default power apps icon set uh, there's some hands I think there's the hands I see lizard and paper there there's the heart that we were using Yeah, there's a lot to choose from in there and obviously that's just a small fraction as I said earlier the uh, the solid icon pack and the brands icon pack include add a lot more and it's just a matter of uh, doing the same thing to those other 
OTF files uh, to import them into Power Apps. And what's also great is I believe that these are these icons are working on the mobile version of Power Apps as well. So if you're in phone mode, then you should still have access to these full icons, which isn't always the case uh, with SVG. Uh, so yeah, let me know how you get on. Uh, drop me a line on Twitter or a comment below. Uh, I'd love to see how you implement Font Awesome inside Power Apps. And thanks for your time. I look forward to bringing you more content soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.